This is the inside of Milan Cathedral, Domo di Milano. Dom di Milan or Metropolitan Cathedral, Basilica of Nativity of St. Mary. Basilica Cathedrale Metropolana di Santa Maria Nascene is the Cathedral Church of Milan, Lombardy, Italy, dedicated to the Nativity of St. Mary, Santa Maria Nascente. Is the seat of the Archbishop of Milan, currently as Bishop Mario Del Pini. The cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete construction from 1386 and the final details were completed in 1965. It is the largest church in the Italian Republic, the larger St. Peter's Basilica in the state of Vatican City, a sovereign state, and possibly the second largest in Europe and the third largest cathedral in the world. Milan's layout with the streets either radiating from Domo or circling it reveals that Domo occupies what was the most central site of Rouen, Roman Mediolanum, the, the basilica facing the Forum. The first cathedral, the new basilica, Basilica Nova, dedicated to St. Thecla, was completed by 355. It seems to share on a slightly smaller scale. The plan is contemporaneous church recently rediscovered beneath the Tower Hill in London. An adjoining basilica was erected in 1836, the old octagonal baptistry, Battistero Palio Cristiano, dates to 335 and still be visited under the cathedral. When a fire damaged the cathedral and basilica in 1075, they were rebuilt as the Domo. It's a fascinating cathedral. It's a must. If you have a chance, enjoy there. And there is the tomb of Carlo Borromeo, St. Charles Borromeo. And all the beginning of 17th century, Federica Borromeo had foundation in a new facade. Francisco Maria Riccini and Fabio Mangioni were continued in 1638. On May 20, 1805, Napoleon Bonaparte, about Crown King of Italy, ordered a facade to be finished by Felicani. In his enthusiasm, he assured all expenses would fall the French treasurer would reimburse the public and the real estate to sell. Even though this reimbursement was never paid, it still meant that finally, only seven years, the cathedral's facade was completed. Felicani largely followed Bose's project, adding the neo-Gothic details of upper windows. If you had the privilege to go there, please go. It's a beautiful and rewarding place to go. I hope you will enjoy and God bless you all. Bye.